Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of... Vault Hunters! So before you yell at me in the comments that I didn't show you the building of this house, I recorded it using the record mod, okay? Now, unfortunately, when I try to open up that recording, all it does is crash my Minecraft. So we're not gonna have be able to get that footage. So, um, and it's a crappy looking house anyways. Uh, I said I was gonna do research. I didn't do any research, okay? I just randomly started placing blocks. This is what I came up with. This is what we're doing, okay? There's like no room for anything in this place. So it's, it's honestly a bad design. But, okay, so I've got tons and tons of building blocks in my inventory. I need to move some of this stuff. I'm gonna make some chests. Uh, I guess we can stack these here. And let's just dump all this crap in here. We need a little farming area. It's gonna be close to the villagers, so I don't really want it that close to my home because they'll be freaking annoying. Maybe we'll have them out the back over here. Oh! oh. You jerk. Shooting me through my little weird window thing. That's why these doors stay open. I wish these kind of connected all the time, but that's okay. Or if we had vertical slabs, which I think there are in this, but you need a mod to make- No, they're quark! I can make those! No, I don't even need a sawmill. Okay, let's see if this even does what I want it to do, though. The thing is, I don't think these connect to vertical slabs, if I remember correctly. So I do this, put a vertical slab. They do! Oh, see, that's the downside. I need this to be, like, a corner piece, um, for it to not look weird if I want this. Like, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Wait a second, it's not connecting there. That's not good. It's not doing what I want to do. I thought we just tested it connects like that, but it's the opposite side, of course. Of course it is. Well, we could just have this be open, and it would be like an extra little window if I did this. It looks a little weird, but you know what? I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like it. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Well, you know what? We'll take the fat L boys with these weird spacings. It's totally fine. We'll just move on with our lives and do something else. Like make this villager area. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Get our nappies all in order. I'll make it out of kebably stone. I like kebabble stone. Uh, okay, so let's see. I was filling in this area. I think we're going to have it over here. Okay, Enderman. Have fun with that. Whatever makes you happy. And over here, we'll knock down this tree later. But for now, I'm going to do a very simple... um. Prison. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be this. Oh, hey, buddy. Get out of here. This is my... This is where my villagers are gonna live. Block, 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 block. All right. Let's see. Oh, God. You know what I just realized? I don't think I broke all the freaking uh, workstations for all these villagers. Mm-mm. That's not good. It's not good at all. All right, boys. Let's see. We'll start with the villagers. Actually, uh, the ones that we need. So, we do need some farmers. I'm gonna get two. Oh, God. Are you okay, you fucking dumbass? Oh! Don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't give you any permission to blow up near my home. Whew. Okay. Hey, I mean, if we got four farmers, we might as well just use the four farmers, right? Am I right? So, we got a cleric. We got the villagers. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we got tons of villagers. So that's cool. We need compost bins. Let's make some of those. One, two, three, four of these. And then I know that we'll need some stuff from the librarians later. Okay, so... Composter, 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 composter. They're gonna be really- Oh, not in the- Oh! Don't do that. There we go. I gotta go in here and make sure I got cycle trades at the C. There we go. Ooh, God, I didn't want to see that. Okay, so we're looking for carrots and potatoes on literally all these. So, one sec. Carrots, potatoes. Good. Solid deal. I'm literally one off on each. That's fine. So... Oh, God. Come on, dude. Why are there so many creepers? Leave me alone. Good, great, Jiminy. Jiminy crickets. Nice. -oo. Okay, so we just need some three. Whoop. Wrong tool. Three by threes. They don't even need to be um, watered because, well, as long as in this version of the game, crops don't disappear or become unplanted, uh, it doesn't matter. And we'll probably want. Uh, all right, this tree's gonna go. I'm sorry, baby. You're just you're just not meeting the aesthetic, you know. How am I supposed to be an epic gamer with you looming over my epic gamer farm? I can't. It's impossible. You're gonna have to go. All right. And in this one, we'll go ahead and put some wheat seeds. And then, um, well, we kind of need some melons to grow too. I don't care about them as much, and I can't insta grow them with the twerker skill level one. So yeah, I'll deal with those later. I don't care about the the melons right now. Oh, good, I grabbed a book. Okay, so I can make... I think it is like this, and... Oh, no, it's not a book, it's a bookshelf. Ooh, that's not good. And I don't think we found any librarians, so that's a big sad. I'm gonna plant this right there. Uh, let's see. Did I grab a librarian? I don't think I did. No. 
I didn't, so I'll have to wait for that. That's okay. Let's focus on getting some emeralds for these guys. This is going to be so exciting, and I'm not going to show you guys any of it because it's actually really boring. So I'm just going to basically sit here, hold down shift. Oh god, look, there's apples everywhere. I'm going to sit here, hold down shift, and basically hold down right click until I have a bunch of potatoes. And then I'm going to walk waltz on over here, and I'm going to sell them my potatoes. See? Nice and easy. And then we'll get emeralds, and I will do this repeatedly for a very long time until I have a good stockpile of emeralds. And then we'll worry about some other stuff. Why is this guy discounted? That's interesting. Oh no, it's more expensive. Why are you angry, huh? You're probably from a village where I killed somebody. Did I kill anybody? I don't remember killing anyone. Anyways, everybody, I'll be back in just a little bit. It's gonna be so boring, but I'll go ahead and take one for the team. See you in a little bit. Oh, good God, please. I'm just an innocent farmer. Oh! Maybe we should light up the area before things get a little bit too spicy. Like these creepers, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? I wasn't even close to you. Blew up my beautiful home. I'm gonna send you an invoice for that. We've already got a stockpile of like almost a stack of emeralds. So this, and I've only been doing this for like, I don't know, eight minutes. Including the time that I was being murdered by creepers. It's pretty good. It's pretty bog, okay? Hello, sir. Are you interested in potatoes? No. Too bad. Buy my potatoes. Give me that. Hey, yo! He nabbed my potatoes. Hey, yo, quit being mad at me, you jerk. I'll kill you. Actually, I won't kill you, because then everyone else will be mad at me. I'll just pick you up and drop your item into some lava. If you're wondering, yes, this works with a fortune enchantment. So, quite honestly, um, that will probably be the first enchantment I get from a librarian. Because we'll also use it in the- Oh, God! Why? Why? Why do you guys do this? Yoink! Ooh, ooh, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that's right, baby. Get sizzled. There we go. Do you guys like the complete contrast of Arlcraft to this mod pack so far? Literally, I was fighting for my life, fighting these demonic overlord things that sucked me in with their disgusting, big, gaping mouth holes. And then now we're over here making vegetables to sell to villagers. How this all changes. Oh, I didn't even mention- <laughs> Sorry, you guys might be wondering how the hell I'm buying these things so quickly. I have a macro set up to do a key combination for the, uh, for pressing, I think it's... Uh, left click and enter really quickly so I can buy out their stock really fast, which really helps with this. So if you have the ability to do that with your mouse or your keyboard or something, go ahead and do that. It'll save you a lot of time or else you gotta like spam the enter key and left click a lot. And I'm just not about that life. But hopefully one of these villagers starts selling cakes because that would be nice so that we don't have to make those later because that is a vault ingredient that we'll need to make the crystals. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not much of a baker myself. So it's much better if I could just buy them from a villager for a couple emeralds. Honestly, I think it's usually like one emerald. All right, not bad. We got uh, pretty much two stacks of emeralds. That's pretty cool. So what we're waiting for now is extra sugar cane to make a lectern to turn one of these villagers into a librarian. Then we're going to get fortune and keep building up emeralds, and then we'll buy our gear from a weaponsmith and armorsmith. Because who the hell needs to even do anything related to mining when you can just buy the things? Then I realized that as I was talking about growing the sugarcane that I found some sugarcane, so... <laughs> oh, it's a zombie villager. Well, I don't have any golden apples for you. So, bye-bye. There we go, we got the lectern. Whoop! And put that there, and grab a villager, and plop him out. Turn into a librarian. There you go, good boy. Right, just to be safe, I'm gonna- Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, but also, you started it. There we go. Nice and captive. Okay, so now we gotta change this to- Yo, Fortune 2 right off the bat. It would be nice, but I'm gonna wait till I get Fortune 3. It's just better that way, long term. So, I'll be back in a little bit. This is gonna take probably a while. Oh, but there's Efficiency 5. God damn it. Okay, well that's fine. Um, yes, I will buy that. I can't buy that. Hold on. I need books. I need more books. I mean, come on, man. I can't pass down an efficiency five. That's max level. So I'll buy that. Boom, baby. That's pretty good. So this guy's going to be efficiency five. Um, do I have... Well, I probably don't have enough iron to make an anvil. No, I only have 17. That is some dookie. Uh, we need to set up... I'll set up a few furnaces here. Okay. So we'll grab this guy. We'll put him in here. We gotta break his workstation, place it back down. Once you trade with the villagers, they won't lose their trades no matter what. So we're gonna get a new librarian, and we're gonna try to get the fortune now. 
Unless something else amazing comes through. There we go, fortune three. And just like that, guys, it's it's just that easy. Now we're gonna have a pretty well built um diamond pick here for a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll one more librarian and let's see what else comes up first. Infinity would be cool. That's actually good. Yeah, let's get that because we can put that on a boat and then we're pretty much good to go to fight the Ender Dragon. And grab that steak, baby. Oh yeah. Some more iron. Um. Oh no. I need four more. I need four more iron ore. That's some dookie, if you ask me. All right, we need some more lighting outside. It's pretty dim out here. We really don't want any surprises when we come out here. Do some bad big boy damage to our villagers. We can't have that. They're like children. Stupid imprisoned children that sell us emeralds and magical books somehow. Let's go down here, see if we can't... Oh, there's a cave. I forgot I broke into this. It's a whole lot of copper ore for mechanism, but I don't really need that. Looking for iron, baby. I literally just need four. That's all I'm asking for. Are you gonna tell me there's not one piece of iron in this cave? Why are you holding out on me? What did I do to deserve this? There we go. Here we are. Run through this place real quick and see what iron we can get. Oh, I ran out of torches. There we go. All right, this is good. We're getting a good chunk of stuff in here. Ooh, it's uh, it's on uh, one of the monster boxes. Let's see. Let's clear this out of the way. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. You know what? That's okay, cause that's fun. And these can drop some decent stuff. Oh, I activated it. Hey, no witches. That's what we like to see. But cave spiders, though, are another story. Yep, that's bad. That's bad. Tin Certus quartz. Hey. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. 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 Oh, okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and dip out of there. All right, our only option is to dig up. I'm not- I'm not doing this. I'll see you boys in a minute. I hear the cow walking. Huzzah! I'd like to think that I scared the shit out of this cow. Where's my home? That was a pretty successful, uh, mining trip, guys. We got, uh, a stack in like- we got pretty much two stacks of, uh, of iron. Pretty hot. Now we can make this anvil. Finally. Um, maybe we could chuck it in there. Now let's put, um... I would like an- uh, I can afford another diamond pick, but I probably shouldn't do that. Well, hmm. Actually, does diamond- Nah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna try this. Okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I need to see if it's a netherite hoe that has an upgraded range, or a diamond hoe. But either way, we need a diamond hoe. This is not gonna go to waste. Probably. Let's see. Yes! It has an extended range. Ooh, baby! Okay, so, instead of doing a 3x3, three three, this does a 4x4, four four, and couple that with this Fortune 3 enchantment we're about to put on this baby, mm, we are gonna increase our emerald output by, like, a billion fold. You know, I'm no math genius, but I'm pretty sure those numbers are correct. One, two, three, I need more dirt! There we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, baby! Um, a wee can come later, I'm not too concerned about wee right now. So, check it, lady. Oh, no! Oh, it got infected, you fucking piece of shit. That's okay. Uh, we'll- we'll deal with you later. I can't pick you up, though, so you're gonna stay there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Anyways, here we go. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for the amount of harvesting speed that we're gonna have here in just a second? I'll tell you what, you're not. You're not ready. Okay, so we need a couple things to get the other villagers that we want. One of them is... We need some, uh, smooth stone for a blast furnace. And then we need... Oh, wait a second. Um... I don't care about a toolsmith, I want a blacksmith and a weaponsmith. Really a blacksmith is what I care about. Uh, which I think is the blast furnace? But in the meantime, check this shit out. <laughs> check it, okay, watch. Look how fast, look how fast my inventory's gonna fill up with these things. Sorry, it's not 3x3, three three, it's 5x5. Five five. So really we just gotta extend this a little bit. Okay, alright guys, you ready for this? Check this out, ready? Yeah, you're probably thinking like, hey Flynn, that's pretty good, that's pretty cool, you know, that's a lot of carrots. But you know what's, what the crazy part is? Is that we're not even picking up all of them. Most of them are actually going on the floor, so check it. Now if I go around here... And my inventory's full. Oh my god. It is so good. It is so freaking good. And check it out, how we just sell them all? This boy still wants carrots. Let's give him what he wants. So once you get to this point in the game, uh, villagers are just... Infinite items, you know, infinite, uh, really experience, because you can buy their enchantment books and disenchant them. You can do whatever the heck you want. You're practically God. Oh, this man's expensive as hell. Asking for 31 potatoes, uh, what do you, what do I look like to you, huh, potato factory? You think it's easy to grow these potatoes? It is for me, but you can't do it, which means that I monopolize it. So, shut up. And that's how it's done, everybody. 
grab one of you guys, just a random villager, and right there. Boom, armorer. So now we're gonna spend our money. Let's go ahead and buy out his stock of helmets. Very nice. He'll level up, and we'll just keep buying these. Let's see. I seriously don't care about these, I'm just gonna drop them on the floor over here. I didn't mean to drop my iron sword, but it's- it's okay. A diamond for an emerald? What do I look like? What do- would I look stupid to you? Okay, so now we're getting to the diamond armor, so this is nice. So, we can get the pants and the boots, just like that. <laughs> We've got protection too on both of those. Am I blowing your guys' minds yet? I better be. Okay, so these are still best for leveling them up. Oh no! He's- he's done selling me the armor! You fool. Well, that's okay, we can wait. We don't have to buy this right away. Although we could combine them to get protection four. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So now that I have another set of protection two boots, I can go to the anvil here. Put them in. Oh, it's going to be protection three. All right, sorry. That's fine. Now he's a master, and now we get the chest piece and the helmet. Tell me that's not awesome. It's awesome. Oh, blast protection? That's not so awesome. But we'll buy another helmet. So combine the helmets. Take off the pants. Combine the pants. Boom, baby. We're in a full set of diamond enchanted armor. Just like that. Very easy. Very, very easy. We're pretty much good to go fight the, uh, Ender Dragon. Uh, one thing I gotta do is do the Cleric now. The Cleric will also sell us Redstone Dust, I think? Which will be very useful. Cleric, nice. Perfect. Yeah, I want the Redstone Dust. Buy all that. Level up. Now he sells Lapis. Level up. Now he sells Glowstone, which is okay with me. I don't really care too much. Although this actually will come in handy for a lighting mod later. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, for the mods, um, in the direct decoration tab is where you're going to want to put all your points at the beginning. Don't even think about it, just put all your points in here first. It makes way more sense, because they reduce the cost of all the other mods. So very, very worth. And the nice thing about having a bunch of farmers is that they can have a chance to sell different kinds of suspicious stew. Hey, the cake! Perfect. Different kinds of suspicious stew. And they give golden carrots at Master, so that'll be our new food source that we're going to use for everything. Assuming these suspicious stews aren't the hunger ones. Because if they are, that would be very nice. Okay, it doesn't look like- it looks like the work day is over for these guys. Goodbye, the lapis. Okay, cool, it got us there. Very nice. Okay, now he'll be master and we can buy ender pearls from him. Oh, excuse me there, buddy. Where's my sword? Oh, right, I threw it down there. Don't you even think about it, you nasty boy. Okay, let's see. Oh, no! He's not selling- This is the first time that a, a cleric has not sold me ender pearls. Well, sorry, buddy, but you're kind of useless. So I'm gonna put you in this chest. <laughs> we will get a new one. Ender pearls, there we go. That's what we're looking for, baby. That's what it's all about. Sweet. So we got that all set up. We got infinite ender pearls. A lot of good resources. I'm telling you, man. Twerker. Oh, it is OP. Last thing I'm going to do this episode is enchant the book with infinity. And I think there's a mod in this mod pack that makes it so you don't need one arrow to use the infinity enchantment, which I think is completely reasonable. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and take down the Ender Dragon, but we've gotten ourselves a very powerful farm to go ahead and sell to villagers. And that's the name of the game. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.